What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at will increasing your virtual memory on your system increase pc performance i get asked this question quite a bit i also see lots of uh, misinformation on the internet and lots of videos on youtube claiming that you will get you know 50 to 60 to 100 frames per second more by doing virtual memory settings so i thought i'd make a video making a tweak on the virtual memory settings and also showing you benchmarks with and without uh, tweaks on the system. So this is automatically managing paging file sizes, which means it's managed by Windows itself. And we'll see exactly what sort of benchmarks we can get with it being managed by Windows itself. So we'll run a quick test here with a benchmark software and we'll get a, a screenshot and I'll take a look at those at the end of the video. But here you go. This is the uh, benchmarks right here. Frames per second is up on the top, the score, and we have minimum and also maximum frames per second. This is the most accurate way that you're going to be able to tell whether you're getting a performance boost by adding a particular tweak to the system. So let me just show you here what virtual memory settings we had here. This was run by default, which is the default virtual memory settings, which is managed by your computer, by Windows itself. So if you're one of these people that like turning this off, having no paging file, or maybe tweaking your system, then this is what people are generally telling you to do to get better performance. In my personal opinion, it causes nothing but instabilities. So I've run it again with virtual memory settings set. And as you can see here, this is the frames per second, the score, the minimum frames per second, and maximum frames per second, as you can see on the screen right there. So we'll take a closer look at these side by side a little bit later on in the video. So let me just quickly show you the virtual memory settings that we set uh, for this system here. And again, like I said, there's many different ways of setting your virtual memory settings. Everyone will have their own secret formula that they want to use to get the best ultimate performance out of uh, the operating system. And maybe if you've got a really old, old system and you're 100% convinced that turning have virtual memory settings on and tweaking it or even having no paging file at all if you've got over eight gigabytes of ram after reading some of them old articles online and still believing they make a difference to your system by turning it off or even setting your own uh, memory settings here it's entirely up to you personally i just don't think it's worth messing with this stuff anymore especially in 2021 with the advancements in technology uh, people will say you can get more memory for free by going into this area here and taking a look at your virtual memory and you'll see a, a big chunk of memory being changed here after you make virtual memory setting changes and you can see here we can now see we do have virtual memory of 48.0 gigabytes in size and this is all okay you know what i mean uh, to think that this is going to actually make a massive difference to your system the thing you have to sort of remember is when people are showing you this sort of stuff is they're not showing you the benchmarks before and after. So I'm going to set this back to Windows Manage because I think that's the, probably the best place for it, and that way you don't get any problems. If you're having crashes or blue screens and you don't know what's happening with your system, it's probably because you've been tweaking it and you've probably got your virtual memory settings wrong or turned off paging file and you're going to have blue screen to death. So here are the benchmarks side by side. Remember, we only run one benchmark. You should always run three benchmarks to get a true uh, reading and these benchmarks are within a margin of error as you can see here the benchmark frames per second for each of these is windows manage is 144.5 whereas the tweaked version is 145.5 one frame and that's basically uh, what you can expect by having your virtual memory settings on having one frame performance difference and if you've run this three times you'll probably see no difference between the two the score was 3600 and 39 for Windows Managed and 3,665 for Tweaked. And then you can see minimum 33.3 uh, and minimum with Tweaked 9.3. And then you've got the maximum 294.4 to 296.1. So hardly any difference between the two. Nothing worth, uh, you know, mentioning on any sort of benchmark scores or anything like that. You're not going to see any difference between uh, these if you're running them on the system windows manage means you're not going to have any issues with crashing blue screens or any issues with your games you're still going to have micro stutters 
and things like that if you're putting a, a modern day graphics card in an old system anyway so it really doesn't uh, make much difference using virtual memory tweaks in 2021 in my personal opinion and the problem with a lot of tutorials online especially on youtube is the fact that they will show you how to tweak it but they never show you any sort of benchmarks with before and after to prove that it actually gives you you know an extra 100 frames per second boost but they will make sure that they photoshop something and put it on the actual uh, thumbnail of their video so people get sucked in and thinking that it's actually a really good thing to do and you're getting that amount of performance boost it's all just smoke and mirrors and people fall for it every single day of the week on youtube using clickbait titles and getting people to to actually fall for this stuff and it really is old uh, sort of myths that people put out online that these tweaks are going to actually improve performance on your pc when they have hardly any impact at all in the modern day so if you're one of these people that like using tweaks like these on your computer then stop doing it because what's going to happen is it's going to make your system unstable and it's going to cause a lot of instabilities on your system so when you're doing something it may crash in the background and you'll wonder why your pc keeps crashing and it's because of stupid tweaks like these which will make the system unstable windows does a pretty good job at managing your memory so i really wouldn't uh, make these tweaks on your pc you're not going to see any performance boost and even if you don't have a lot of memory on your system then save up some money and add some more memory if you've only got uh, four or eight gigs of ram then try to get 16 gigs of ram and you shouldn't have any issues and you shouldn't need to do these sort of tweaks on your pc so let me know down in the comment section below whether you tweak your system like this or whether you just leave it as windows managed i'll be interested to read your comments my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching i just want to say a big shout out to all my youtube members who have joined my youtube members group your names are rolling up on the screen right now i really do appreciate the support and i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now